is happening guys, it is Danilad1989, welcome back to the Hurryford United Korea, this is episode 77, it's also the final episode of this season, because as you can see here, after today's episode, we have West Ham United at home, we have um, Southampton away, and then we have Brighton at home, then we have the final against Valencia in the UEFA Europa Conference League, and that is it, the season is done after that. So, how we are going to play it is, I'm going to simulate the first game against West Ham United. They are in 14th in the table, so simulating that, we should be able to get a result. I am then going to play Southampton, I'm going to play Brighton, and then I'm going to play the final for the last played game of the episode and try and lift some silverware in our last game of the season. That's how we are going to do today's episode, guys. As you can see by the standings here brighton have climbed up into seventh place they must have put together a really good run of form at the end of the season and climbed up to seventh place you then have west ham and southampton both in 14th and 15th so i will simulate the west ham game first and then we will play southampton play brighton and then we will play the finale one or two tired legs as you can see guys on the field from previous episode but in return so do West Ham they have a couple of tired legs on the field as well so hopefully this team should be strong enough to get a result against a mid-table West Ham side so let's simulate and fingers crossed we'll get three points and recover our form we certainly do so let's just have a quick look Kirk Wilson scores three minutes in they get an equaliser Kirk Wilson then scores again and they had a man sent off in the 83rd minute so that was some hell of a game but we do get the three points which matters the most because we are obviously dropping points in the last episode we're struggling for a result we get that result against West Ham we can now push on in our played games and try and recover our form let's have a look how tight it is at the top of the table now so in fifth place Arsenal on 64 points we in fourth place are on 66 points, Chelsea in third place on 67 points and then Manchester City on 71 points. It's very, very close in between fifth and second place with one or two wins here at the end of the season. Who knows where we could finish? So I will simulate forward here to the Southampton game. I can't remember, was it an away game? I think we're away at Southampton, aren't we? And then at home to Brighton, if I remember rightly, let's just double check here and have a quick look Southampton were in 14th last time still in 14th and we are away at Southampton I will see you there here we are then guys in the first played game of the episode we are at the St Mary Stadium we are against Southampton we've got to recover our form we have done it in the first simulated game against West Ham but we need to do it on the pitch the last episode or two we've dropped quite a few points and we've dropped out of that first second or third category Liverpool kind of run away with it now but we still have the mentality and the points available to us to finish in third or second place depending on other results but we've got to do it here on the pitch as you can see how close the table is right there we're only a point behind and we just need to play how we started at the start of the season at the start of the season we were brilliant we were banging goals in we were getting points and we were right up there with the best of them just of late towards the end of the season we've started to drop off so I do want to recover our form in this game we are at 100% <clears throat> the full team is ready to go we'll wait for the lineups we'll get straight into the football let's have a look who Southampton have in their lineup today See if they've got any of the originals from their team. <coughs> Doesn't look like they've got any of their originals in their team still. We definitely have the stronger side as they look like they've got a few generated players. So as we line up today, Josh Griffiths in goal. We've got Tommy Doyle, Malang Sar, Maitland Niles, uh, Tyron Mings and Kolasinac in defensive positions. Connor Gallagher, Tyler Wall and Harry Wilson, Kirk Wilson and Dembele up top. We are 100%, we're ready to go. Let's get a comfortable win in this game. Southampton coming forward in our half here. And that's a decent run down the line early here and Tommy Doyle trying to marshal him out of it. He's found a really good pass down the line and thankfully Malang Sar manages to get rid of it. Can we get it forward now? They can't come straight back at us with a decent pass around the corner. Tyron Mings gets a good tackle in. Tyler Wall trying to get a 
tackle him as well. And they still have possession at the edge of the box here. We do get a good block in Tyron Mings trying to get the ball down. Eventually we do get it down. Can we try and counter attack now? Kirk Wilson over the top. Is he onside? That is the question. I think he is onside. Kirk Wilson to put us 1-0 ahead. And that's exactly what he does. We needed that goal badly. We have tried to recover our form. As you guys know in the last episode or two, we've not been brilliant. But this time, we get the goal early. Kirk Wilson counter attacks. We get a good ball over the top. He had his shirt pulled a few times, dragging on his shoulder. And he manages to finish it in the bottom corner to put us 1-0 ahead at St. Mary's. Southampton coming forward here. That's a decent pass. He's trying to get into our box. Malang Sar stands in his way. Uh, Malang Sar should be able to get the tackle and he doesn't. Tommy Doyle is behind him in support and we do manage to get the ball away. Here's Conor Gallagher. Can we try and get Maitland Niles in behind here? Kirk Wilson has already scored once in this game. I'm going to try and look for him through the middle. Kirk Wilson might be in again here for his second and he certainly is. 28 minutes gone. Kirk Wilson gets his second goal of the game and gets our second goal of the game. We said we wanted to recover our form. I think we've just done that. Southampton, bless them, have tried to come at us and tried to get opportunities in and around our box. Maitland Niles with a wonderful ball through the middle and Kirk Wilson makes no mistake getting his second goal of the game. Approaching half time here guys and just passing the ball around trying to find some gaps in the back line and get ourselves a third before half time, possibly even get Kirk Wilson his hat trick before half time. Round the corner looking for Dembele. It was blocked out and they picked up the ball. Klasinac did well to get that back, but never mind. There goes the half time whistle. Into the second half we go then, guys. And Kirk Wilson has certainly got his shooting boots on today. He's not been in the goals of late, or at least when we've played with him in games. In simulated games, he's had one or two, but on the field, he hasn't had many. And today he's got two in the first half, hoping that we can finish off Southampton here with a healthy lead going into the second half. Let's see Southampton throw on the near side here and puts that straight into midfield. Picks up the ball once again, looking to get in against our back line here and Kolasinac with a brilliant tackle there. Send this over towards Conor Gallagher and Dembele is completely free on the far side. If I can put Kirk Wilson in, he might be in for his hat-trick here, guys. And that is a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Doing some pass into midfield, looking for the man out wide, another good ball into midfield, trying to find his striker, Maitland Nails tracking back here and just trying to free up the defenders. He does get a tackle in, but it drops straight back into a Southampton man. And another good pass around the corner. They have got three here, and Josh Griffiths was called upon to make a good stop. They have themselves a corner here. Southampton also making a change. And they are trying to come back at us 2-0 down or not. You've got to give them credit for trying to stay in the game. Conor Gallagher look for the tackle. He does get a partial tackle in, but they still have possession. Pass it out towards the defender who's looking to get the ball straight back in the box. They've only dropped that into Kolasinac. Can we try and get forward with them out of position here? Here goes Harry Wilson. I'm looking for a pass out wide towards Dembele. Here is Dembele. He's turned his man really well and Harry Wilson is still with me. If I can hit that first time with Harry Wilson, it's dropped straight back into uh, Dembele and Maitland Niles was fouled there, but we have advantage. I'll keep going here with Conor Gallagher if he can get in. And again, we're trying to get the shot on goal. Chip back towards Kirk Wilson. The chance may still be alive here with Conor Gallagher. I'll try and drop this to Tyler Wall if he can have an effort blocked again. And we're just continuing our pressure here. See if I can get this into Conor Gallagher. Round the corner to Kirk Wilson if he can get an effort away. That one was blocked as well. And play will continue. 85 minutes gone here, guys. We have a throw in our own half. Just trying to keep hold of the ball and see this game out here. Maybe we can try and get a third late in this game. I would like to get Kirk Wilson is hat-trick. He had a chance earlier that he couldn't convert. Here is Dembele with some brilliant dribbling and found his way into the box. I'll hit it here towards Harry Wilson and Harry Wilson will find a third. It's not the right Wilson to get the hat-trick but it's the other Wilson getting our third goal of the game from, you have to say, a masterclass dribbling act from Dembele there. Finding his way into the box, hit it well. Goalkeeper gets a stop on it and from the tightest of angles Harry Wilson makes it 3-0 Hereford United into the last minute of stoppage time here guys and I don't think we'll get forward enough time to try and get 
Harry, uh, Kirk Wilson his hat trick, but never mind. We get a 3 0 comfortable win and we have recovered our form in the league. Back at the menu, then, guys, and it was the story of the Wilsons, weren't it? So, Kirk Wilson with two goals in the first half to see us 2 0 up, and then Harry Wilson with a third in the second half to see us in third place. So, all the threes at the minute three goals back in third place and three points. We are a little bit behind Manchester City now after 37 games played and also Chelsea have a game in hand behind us so we can go back down to um, fourth place depending on how they get on in their result but all we can do is keep winning so we've got to move on to the last game of the season which will be the 38th game of the season for us against Brighton at home I will see you there Second played game of the episode, we are at home, we're at the Edgar Street Stadium, we have Brighton. If you guys remember the last time we played Brighton, it was a 3-3 thriller and they got a man sent off as well if I remember rightly and there was a penalty involved in that game so I'm expecting fireworks in this game as well. This is the last game of the season in the Premier League. If we get three points now, we might solidify a top three finish. We have got to win this game. Varying on other results, it might go a different way. All we can do is win, and that's what we have to do. I have rotated the side because next we have the final against Valencia with the UEFA Europa Conference League. So this game, I've had to change the side around, as you'll see now. So McNeil in goal, Paslak, Miranda, uh, Maitland Niles, Amadou, and Thomas in defensive positions. I've gone O'Reilly and Patrick Roberts in midfield. I've gone Fernandez, I've gone Abamyang, and I've gone Locke. It's also Abamyang's last game in the game whatsoever. He's going to retire after this game, so we're going to lose Abamyang. We need to replace him for next season. So thoughts on a striker, guys? Let me know. But <clears throat> I'm expecting a comfortable win against Brighton, even though last time out it was a 3-3. Let's have a look who they've got on the field today. Lamptey is somebody I am still interested in bringing in next season. I want to pinch him, definitely. And they've got uh, Jesse Lingard in the camp position, and they've also got Tammy Abraham up front. So they have got some talent on the field, as we know from last time from playing them. We have got to win this game. It's a must win. We are putting early pressure on them, as you can see here, but Lamptey with his pace there, breaking out in towards midfield. We have to put the pressure on Brighton early in this game to show our intent, but as you can see why I'm interested in Lamptey getting forward here, making something happen going forward, but he's only dropped that in towards Thomas, and let's get the ball forward here with Patrick Roberts. Aubameyang making me a forward run. I'll use O'Reilly for now into Aubameyang, looking for Locke. If he can get through, he certainly has got through Locke, and he's hit the post. It's bounced back. O'Reilly's completely missed it in towards Patrick Roberts with an effort early chances here and we just can't seem to hit the back of the net here's Lock again, turn inside, try and get another effort on goal and it's wide of the target uh, lofted forward Miranda attacking the ball there and winning the ball and in towards O'Reilly here who's bursting forward trying to find a pass in towards midfield it's come back towards Maitland-Niles it finds its way towards Aubameyang here's Patrick Roberts holding the ball at the edge of the box and has his ankles crunched there and we have a free kick at the edge of the box against Brighton. He receives a yellow card there, the Brighton man for the challenge on Patrick Roberts, who certainly wasn't happy about the challenge. Can we try and make this free kick count? I'm tempted to have a go, but I'm more tempted to kind of lay the pass off and have a go this way. And it's O'Reilly to hit it. O'Reilly does hit it. Bemsey's back off the defender. And they do clear it away partially, but here's Locke having a go from distance. And... Referee has seen a handball and we've got another free kick. Free kick on top of free kick. I'm going to have a go here now with Thomas because it's literally just on the edge. If we get just enough power and just float it over the wall, he might be able to get us off the mark here, off the top of the crossbar. So close to the opener. Another effort from Thomas. And play has broken down. We'll continue. Approaching half time here and Brighton coming forward on some sort of a counter attack Thomas to try and stop him, two minutes added on Amadou trying to stop him as well and we need to get a block in here so we don't concede before half time but that is a terrible effort on goal and out for a goal kick it should be half time here now guys two minutes what ad was added on and there goes the half time whistle into the second half we go guys and 
lots and lots of pressure in the first half. We just couldn't seem to find the back of the net. Hoping we can push forward here in the second half, find a couple of goals and get a win on the last game of the season. Lofted forward, Aubameyang to try and win it. He certainly does well there to win that. Aubameyang, I'll try and get it through towards Patrick Roberts who has time and space here. I'm just looking for the right pass. O'Reilly has made me a decent run through the middle and he's rolled the challenge there. O'Reilly with a decent effort and the goalkeeper makes a good stop but he's only thrown that straight out towards Patrick Roberts. Aubameyang off the top of the bar. How close do we need to get to the opener? Patrick Roberts, decent chest down and picks up possession. Here's Matt O'Reilly, going to send that out wide towards Thomas. And Locke is down the line, but I'll use Patrick Roberts again in the middle. Here's Bamiang trying a short 1-2 with Patrick Roberts. And the defenders saw it coming. And Brighton will pick up the ball here and start running at our back line. They've got a few players forward and we just need to be careful defending here. If Thomas can get the tackle in, which he did, it's only fallen to a Brighton man. Can we get the tackle in again here? Brighton still have possession and they've got the ball around the corner. And Rob McNeil with a brilliant save. <sighs> Saves like that are what win you games. But we need a goal at the other end to make sure we do get the win in this game. Brighton corner to come in, Thomas to try and clear, ball over the top of the goal and it's out. Brighton pick up the ball in the field here and 88 minutes gone now, we need to try and find a goal, we've got to try and find one soon, that was an awful tackle on Thomas there and he's gone down and stayed down there, Thomas and play has been stopped, there's been a yellow card here at the end of the game for Tammy Abraham and it looks like we have lost Thomas to an injury here, I'll have to put Malang Saar in the left back position just for now until we finish this game up but that's an injury at the end of the season that we didn't want really and the drop ball and we've have to give it back to Brighton and that's probably going to be a draw at the end of the season we really wanted a win here three minutes added on there is still time if we can pick up the ball but Brighton with possession and O'Reilly has stole it here can we get the chance to get one here over towards Fernandez? we've got to be patient and pick out the right pass here, Fernandez looking for Aubameyang, if he can get round the corner, Aubameyang, that is a brilliant save by the goalkeeper, I thought Aubameyang was going to steal it in his last game of his career and try and get the goal worth doing but unfortunately it doesn't go that way, try and drop it to lock here, he's in a lot of space, here is Aubameyang, try and get the goal now and cleared away, there goes the full time whistle, it's a nil nil draw at the end of the season. Back at the menu then guys and we had plenty of chances to try and win that game and we didn't take any of them so a little bit annoying I did want to obviously get the three points and solidify ourselves in the top three for the end of the season we'll have to have a look and as you can see prize money for the Premier League 172 million pound hopefully all of that will go into our transfer fund and we should be able to have a very strong one and as you can see here Thomas is out for seven months through that injury Hopefully he will be back for the start of the next season, maybe not, but we have the big one next, guys. The final is next against Valencia. We rested our starting 11 for this game. We will have a look where we finished in the Premier League, and then we will go straight into the last game, which is the final. So let's just have a look where did we finish in the Premier League. We finished in third place on 70 points. 20 games won, 10 games drawn, 8 games lost. We probably could have won a lot more if we'd have had the goals or finished our chances. Something we need to improve on next season. Liverpool will take the Premier League. City in second, us in third, Chelsea in fourth and Arsenal in fifth. Relegated at the bottom, definitely Norwich and Bournemouth and Villa going down. So... That's how the Premier League is going to finish. How is the UEFA Europa Conference League going to finish? Let's find out. Here we go then, guys. The final played game of the episode, and it's a big one. Valencia against Hereford United for the UEFA, UEFA Europa Conference League final. Forget all season, nothing else matters. We haven't had any silver work because obviously we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup by Chelsea in the final. We have finished in third place in the Premier League. We need to lift this trophy here and now to see some silver work in this season. I really want to win this and 
put our name down in history for winning another cup season after season. Last season we won the EFL Cup, this season I want to win this cup and then hopefully next season we are going to go for the Premier League. So big big game on our shoulders right now we are at 100 percent everybody is fit and healthy to go we have our best side out getting a win here is the most important thing now of the entire season forget everything else this is what matters we haven't played valencia before we don't know what they're about i don't know who they have in their lineup i'm not sure all we need to concentrate on is getting an early goal settling ourselves down and winning this game because lifting that trophy is the most important thing in our season right now so this is how Valencia will line up don't recognize anybody in their starting lineup they've got Calva Hal at right back I recognize that name one of Real Madrid's best right backs in history very very good player he's got to be getting on in this save now it's probably his last season as well as it is for Aubameyang for us and once they've taken their picture for this game we'll have a look at our lineup and you should already know how that's going to be here we go then guys lining up for our picture for the final hopefully we'll be able to have a trophy in that picture at the end of the game so as we line up josh griffiths in goal obviously we've got maleng sat and um mings at back maitland niles sat uh Kalasinac and tommy doyle in the fullback positions wall and Gallagher in midfield and then Harry Wilson, Kirk Wilson and Dembele up top so let's win this game and lift the trophy won't see her passing it around well in midfield they've had the majority of possession early in this game here Valencia and they are looking dangerous when they do come forward Malang Sar try and get a tackle in Tyler Wall does track back but they've got the ball in the centre here and it's cleared out for a corner putting some early pressure on us here Valencia we need to try and turn the tables the other way and get up the field and try and create a dangerous chance ourselves but Valencia at the edge of the box here passes that down to his teammate long range effort and drags that way over the top of the bar Valencia again coming forward down this near side and they've certainly got a little bit of pace to try and make these chances count they've had an early one already and they're in again here and Josh Griffiths is called upon for another save and they have themselves another corner we didn't want to start this game like this we wanted to start the game with us on the attack but it's Valencia having all the forward play here we have managed to get rid of that if Tyler Wall can try and win it and they do carry on with their attack here they've got plenty of shirts forward if we can try and get rid of it now and get on a counter attack Kirk Wilson might be in here and I have got Tyler Wall sprinting forward with me ball over towards Tyler Wall see if I can pull this back and get the opener with Kirk Wilson, Kirk Wilson on the turn, he hits it low and hard, the goalkeeper's got a stop on it and stops us getting the first goal of the game. Valencia have been on top to the first 25 minutes or so, now we've tried attacking them and in the corner, just not good enough, I'll see if I can keep the chance alive here with Conor Gallagher, I might have an effort from distance here if I can get a chance to shoot here with Conor Gallagher, which I do, and again the goalkeeper makes a brilliant save back and forward in this first half they've had their chances we've now had chances just waiting for the opener I'm hoping it's going to go our way and get in front here in this cup game but that's a really good tackle by the Valencia man and now they're on the counter attack here as we haven't got anybody back because we pushed everybody forward decent ball in and Maitland Niles should be able to deal with it into Josh Griffiths clear that away and play continues here's Tyler Wall trying to find Tommy Doyle wide position he finds the header down towards Conor Gallagher who comes sprinting forward here and he's got room here Conor Gallagher if I can try and find the right pass in towards Kirk Wilson on the turn and the centre back tackles him out of it and half time is approaching very quickly hopefully we won't concede here just before half time one minute added on and Tara Mings has pushed over to try and stop the cross coming in his shoulder badged him completely out the way there and made sure that the cross didn't come in but there is half time into the second half we go then guys and Valencia had some early chances put some early pressure on with a couple of corners and a few chances we then go up the other end and have our own chances we might have a chance here with Kirk Wilson at the start of the second half if they can get this on target Kirk Wilson has put us in front just after the break that was a really loose pass there by the Valencia man and Kirk Wilson takes full advantage putting us 1-0 ahead in the cup final here 
I was just saying about we had chances at the end of the second half and Dembele gets the ball, Kirk Wilson takes a good first touch, hits that across goal and puts us 1-0 ahead just after the second half. And Valencia again with some decent possession trying to find the gap in our back line to get through. Malengsa stands strong again and Dembele has made me another good run on the far side. Dembele takes a good first touch. I'm going to sit this in the middle for Kirk Wilson and Kirk Wilson has got a second. That could be the goal that clinches the cup for us. We didn't have a great first half because Valencia were on top for the first 20 minutes, half an hour or so. We had a couple of chances at the end of the first half. Then Kirk Wilson finds a goal from Dembele in literally like the first kick of the second half. And then Dembele has found Kirk Wilson again and he has found a second. Valencia coming forward here now and it's coming towards the end of the game. Malangsa standing strong in towards Tommy Doyle. Tries to get rid of that in midfield but Valencia pick it up again here. They have tried to get back in this game since us scoring the second but we stand defensively strong and don't tell me we'll just give away a penalty. In the 88th minute we've just given away a penalty. I don't believe it. I want to see that again because Malangsa has been so solid in this game. I think it did just touch his arm he tried to bring it down on his knee and it has touched his arm the 88th minute were 2 nil up and Valencia have themselves a penalty he's gonna go right he does go right and he's he's buried it I thought Josh Griffiths was gonna save that they've got back in it at 2-1 with not long left in this game I am just gonna literally hold this ball guys forgive me for doing it but I am gonna keep hold of possession here and just make sure that we see out this win we're 2-1 in front they've managed to get back in it through a penalty I don't want to give them the ball and give them a chance to try and get back in it here's Conor Gallagher going to put that over towards Dembele and just try and run it into the corner we have two minutes added on can I try and run it into the corner and waste some time the two minutes has gone now and I'm just tempted to have a shot here and there, well never mind there goes the full time whistle I was going to shoot them bring the full-time whistle on but never mind we will win the UEFA Europa Conference League by two goals to one Kirk Wilson with both the goals one at the start of the second half and then a second one supplied by Dembele which Dembele got both the assists Kirk Wilson both the goals we will see silverware in this season really happy with how this game's gone it could have been a lot worse because Valencia attacked us at the start of the game they could have quite happily took one or two goals at the start but they didn't we do win it and we will see silverware this season I will let the boys lift the trophy and celebrate and I will see you back at the menu back at the menu then guys and we do lift the trophy thanks to Dembele and Kirk Wilson both of them combined did so well up top together and we get in front we keep it we did concede a penalty at the end and they converted it but never mind we lift the trophy and that is it done as you can see here from the trophy money that's another five million in the pot so brilliant just really happy with how today's episode has gone we recovered our form in the premier league we've lifted a trophy we've got silverware this season i couldn't be happier as we move forward from here guys i will do as i always do i will simulate forward to the 28th ready to go through to next season and then in the next episode we'll do the round up of this season we'll go into next season change the 
the kits and all that sort of stuff and go into next season so leave me your comments as always guys don't forget to drop me a thumbs up thank you very much for tuning in as always we won the cup we've had a top three finish in the premier league leave me a comment leave me a thumbs up i'll see you in the next episode it's been danilas 1989 love you bye